Hey, what's up guys? It's Tor from Teaser's Books and today I'm going to be doing a book haul. Today I just have a bunch of books that I haven't managed to haul yet, so I thought I would get these out of the way before Christmas gets too close. I know I'll get some for Christmas, so I'll just have a whole bunch to do and so I'm trying to keep them to be small slash medium sized book hauls instead of one giant one because those are always a pain to edit and take a long time to film. So yeah, let's get started. The first book I have, which is one of the most exciting books that I have to show you guys today, and that is the Harry Potter Illustrated Edition by J.K. Rowling. I got this the day it came out because I ordered it off of Chapters, and it is basically, if you don't know what it is, it's the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. The entire first book in illustrations. Well, not complete illustrations, but it's an illustrated copy of the original book. There's just really, really gorgeous pictures in here, and I've loved looking through it, and I want to eventually sit down and read it with the pictures from beginning to end because it just looks gorgeous, and it looks like so much fun. So, yes, I can't wait to get to this one, and it's just so big, and I can't wait because, like, this one's a fairly decent size for a picture book. Like, just imagine when we get to Order of the Phoenix, it's gonna be, like, huge it's gonna be huge it's it's gonna be ginormous and i'm happy they made it really big so it's basically like a real children's book and i really really like that the next book i have to show you guys which i don't think i've hauled before if i've hauled in these books before i'm actually very sorry i just can't remember i just grabbed all the ones i think i haven't hauled yet and went with that and so the next book i have to show you is magnus chase and the gods of asgard the sword of the summer by rick riordan this is his new series about a boy named Magnus Chase and what's actually really funny is as I was I was just gonna open it because I was like reading the acknowledgements and just gonna read the first page or something and I was like oh I wonder if Cassandra Clare made a comment about her him using Magnus as a name and it says in the dedication to Cassandra Clare thanks for letting me share the excellent name Magnus I thought that was really funny I can't wait to read this I'm really hoping it's gonna be really good because I tried reading his Red Pyramid series a long time ago and I just didn't enjoy it that much so I never finished the first book and I'm really hoping I can really get into this because it's another kind of like gods it's just not Greek gods this is Norse mythology so I'm very excited to try and get into this whole world because I really don't know that much all about it except for what I learned from Marvel and the next book I have to show you is the third in the series and that is Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor this is the third book in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy the first book is about a girl named Caro who kind of lives in the human world and also this other world and thinks she's a human but then she finds out she might be more than that and she kind of gets sucked into this two these two worlds of demons and angels and where she kind of stands between those two. Yeah, I really, I really, really love the world in this book and I love how in the books they don't just focus on the romance, they focus on the actual world building and what's actually happening in the novels, which is really interesting. The third book, and I haven't read this yet, but I really want to. It's just daunting because it's really, really big. It's a big commitment and I find that her books, I can't zoom through as easily as I would like. I think it's just a fantasy thing. I think I just have trouble reading fantasy really quickly because it's not like romance where you can just skim right through it basically like you have to really pay attention to the detail in these kinds of books especially this one with the amazing world and the writing is just incredible and very excited to read this one and the next book i have already read and that is november 9 by colleen hoover i read this this month and i'm so excited i got it early i got it six days early because it came out on november 10th and i got it november 4th <laughs> i don't know i think i got it six days early i got it about a week early and i read it and i loved it and I'm just so happy. I love her books. I loved how this ended. I loved how it all wrapped together. And I love the idea behind this book. Like, honestly, I wish I could come up with ideas like she does for romance novels because they're just incredible. Basically, this book is about a girl named Fallon who meets this boy named Ben. And they kind of hit it off and everything. And they decide that uh, he's going to write a book about their relationship. And they decide to keep it interesting. They're going to have no contact throughout the entire year except on November 9th. So each year they met, meet for five years. And if they're still interested, in each other after five years then they will see where things go oh it's so good i love the concept and i think i really recommend reading her books and reading anything by her because she's just such an amazing writer and she just grips you right from the start and the next three books i have to show you today are books i've already shown in my uh tbr for this month because i have already read them and i really wanted to read them and i just wanted to finish this series and that is elixir apollyon and Sentinel, all by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Uh, Apollyon and Sentinel are the fourth and fifth novels in the series, and Elixir is a little short novella that takes place in between the third and fourth book. I have managed to finish the Covenant series, 
but I haven't done a review or anything on it. I kind of want to do a series review on the entire thing and talk a little bit at the end about what I thought and my like spoilery discussion of it, but also like a review. Basically, the Covenant series is about a girl named Alex. Her mom took her away from their world, and their world is like Greek mythology, so the descendants of the gods, and there are uh, the pure bloods and the half bloods, and the half bloods kind of have to either go into servitude or they have to be some part of the army and they have to fight the demon. And the demons are pure bloods that are turned by other demons kind of thing. And it's really funny just like all of Jennifer Armstrong's books are and it's really good romance and a really really good plot and I love Greek mythology so seeing all the gods and how she portrayed them especially since it's com so different in a way compared to uh, Rick Riordan's books where his are more like you look up to them and they you kind of have to try to trick them and everything where the gods in these ones you kind of look to them as well most of them as friends and then the other ones just as enemies like just like the regular teenagers with like godly powers highly recommend it if you like anything by her if you want a good place to start and if you like greek mythology especially because i think you'll really enjoy them so the rest of the books i have today are actually all arcs that i have received from my local bookstore and i haven't read any of these yet but i really want to i'm not sure what of concepts are for all the books so if I know anything I'll say it but if not I'm sorry. So the first book I have is The Great American Whatever by Tim Fertile. This is an arc like I said and I believe it's about a boy basically I think it's about a boy who likes really really likes plays and I believe that some of the book is actually written in script. Some of the book is actually written in script which I find really interesting and um, I don't know like the entire concept about this but I'm pretty sure it's dealing with LGBTQ concepts. I'm pretty sure Quinn starts to fall for a guy and it's him uh, overcoming that and working and dealing with that issue, and especially if his family's not accepting, I'm really not sure. And I know that he really likes to write plays and talk about plays and everything, so I know that's a major concept in this book. And I'm hoping it'll be funny. I have a feeling it'll be funny. It has like a funny vibe, at least I think so. So yes, I'm excited to read this one. And this one comes out in March of 2016. So the next one is The Shadow Queen by C.G. Redwine. And retelling of the classic tale of Snow White. I'm pretty sure it's kind of like Snow White, but Snow White is more of the warrior in this story, but I'm not 100% sure. This book comes out in February of 2016, and I have a feeling it's going to do really well. It's just one of those books that I have a feeling that a lot of people will enjoy, and I'm, that's why I'm excited to read it, and hopefully I can read it around the time that it comes out or before that. And the next book I have, which looks really, really funny, and it is The Life Book Clique by Katherine Parks, and it's basically uh, on the back it just says all their survival guides that they have to do on this lifeboat in their clique or whatever and they sound really funny. One of them, the last one is don't drink seawater ever and then it says source common freaking sense. So I'm hoping it'll be really funny. I really love books like that so I'm hoping this one will be really good and uh, this one comes out in, also in March of 2016. And the next book which is actually already out is The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. This book is basically basically all the people who just aren't superheroes and aren't the main hero in a book. And the next one is Seven Black Diamonds by Melissa Marr. I'm not too sure what this book is about but it sounds really interesting. Basically she's a criminal and I'm not too sure what else but I'm really excited to read it. So yeah, that's it for my book haul. Once again, you can follow me on my Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and my blog. I'll put all the links down below. If you like any books I hauled today, let me know and I'll maybe push them up by TBR. Thanks for watching and keep on reading, guys. Bye! And I'm just so excited to read it and I think it's about like people who... Okay! 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 I got him! I got him! I got him! Oh, man. Okay. I just missed Hey Everybody on the AMAs. I'm really sad. I have an idea I wanted to watch it and it's not there. You maxed her credit cards and don't got a job. She pays for cash with all the change in her car. It's not the end of the road. Yeah, we've all been there before. And it goes, oh, 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 oh. He's walking out because he can't pay for the bus. He needs a dollar, but he ain't got enough. It's not the end of the road. And it goes, oh, 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 oh. Hey, everybody. We don't have to live this way. We can all get some. Yeah, we can all get paid. So what you say, everybody? Gotta live it up today. We can all get some. Yeah, we can all get paid.